my duty is to look after you guys. Yeah! All I wanted was a great family. You have a great family. They need you, and you need them. It's a candy factory. Well, life's a bit of treat without someone sweet to share it with. <laughs> what are you feeding her? We are back today with a brand new video about the movie we watched on Netflix. It's really good. You should check it out. It's called... Last Week. What happened? <laughs> Willoughby's. The Willoughby's on Netflix. The same. Only on Netflix. They spelled your name on other things. Oh, who cares? No, it's A. It's an A. It's not an A. It looks like B me. No, it's an A. It looks like they spelled you Stephen E. No, it's A. Everyone, this is Stephen E. Oh, wait, it is Stephen E. <laughs> anyway, people these days can't spell. Anyway. I'm liking I can spell. Anyone but anyway, catch your yeah, whatever, Steve. I guess my name is Steven. Steven. Like my brother name is Steven. Alright, so what were we saying? The Willoughby's. One of the, it's only on Netflix, right? Is it only on? Yeah. Only come and watch if you have Netflix, <laughs> I guess. Ooh, careful, careful. I don't know. Because there's no space here. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Let me move over a little bit. Okay. So, now we're going to review it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and try not to shake mm -hmm. the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> All right, so let's just, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> okay, let me the camera and touch it. All right, so and we also got Smash Burger. Smash Burger. If you remember from our one of our videos, just Smash Burger versus Five Guys, and Caleb and I voted Smash Burger better because it is better. <laughs> and because you have the traders. Because oh. what are we eating now? Oh, it's Smash Burger. All right, that is not cheap. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it because it's delicious. It's because it's not fast food. And the fries good. have rosemary, garlic, and olive oil. Delicious. If you fries. decide to order those, you mm. don't have to. Smash fries. You're looking at regular fries? Or sm I look at smash fries. So good. Caleb got chicken strip, kids meal. I got a burger with eggs. And all the fixings got a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> Alright. And we got ketchup. Woo! Ketchup. Okay, so. Alright, get started. What did you get? I got big bacon. bacon. Yeah. Ketchup for everyone. Oh, yeah, I got bacon too. Mm -hmm. With my egg. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it looks so good. I love Smash Burger. It's one of my favorite. I have burger too. Yeah, but well, Caleb, yeah, he might be hungry, so it's just like I'm a burger. All right. Yeah, yeah but that's a big burger. That is a big Why burger. Why is it such a big burger? Well, if you don't finish this, okay, it's okay. Eat it later. He's mm -hmm. not going to finish it. Only eat it later. It's okay. It's a big deal, right? Look at that. Mm -hmm. All Stop right. that. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm weird. Okay. So, I guess I'll go first, or does Caleb want to go for it? I don't think he has much to say. You don't really care? I mean, did you like it, though? You liked it, right? Yes. Yeah. And we we're gonna watch it again. Like I like the baby, like the baby that <laughs> the they baby. saw, and uh, I like mm -hmm. how they became a family in the end with the the nanny and the this dude that has all the candy. Yeah. Oh yeah, candy. Dude. Forgot his name. Yeah, voiced by uh, oh, I forgot his name too. You said it was Terry. Terry Cruz. Terry something. Is that his name? Terry Cruz. Terry Cruz, I guess. <laughs> Hold on. That's I don't know because I got it completely wrong. So. Who do you think it was then? I thought it was Tyler Perry. I think right, maybe it was Terry Crews though. No, it was Terry Crews. That, that doesn't sound like Taylor, Tyler Perry. But then again, Tyler Perry can change his voice very well. He's a good actor. Mm -hmm. He's good. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well that's the entire review. Good night everybody. Alright, bye. Yeah. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, Caleb. Was that all you have to say then? That's all your favorite part in the baby. Wait, you like the end again? Just like trolls. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, so basically the premise is about these kids. I like the girl. She's really cute. The cute little. And they have parents who are really bad parents. They don't even, like, give them anything. They give them more like, leftovers, but barely any food. They don't even feed them. Like, it's horrible. Horrible parents don't take care of them or anything. I just care about themselves and whatever the heck they do. And then, <laughs> and then what they do is, um, 
they get a nanny. The parents, wait, was it their plan to? I yeah, don't mention the nanny yet. You already did. <laughs> Alright. You're like, I like the beginning, the part with, I like the baby, and then the nanny, and then everyone's <laughs> happy in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was a good plan to get rid of the parents, right? They had a plan. And, and then, yeah. And then to get, you know, good parents. <laughs> and then, what happened was the nanny, I hired a nanny who was really nice. I forgot who voiced her crap. Oh, Maya Rudolph. What am I saying? I just thought of it right away. Maya Rudolph, one of the best. They and then nanny because they ain't home to watch them. And then what was funny is that the nanny was pretty cool, but um, Tim. It ended up that the parents didn't die. Like they went. Oh, oh, wait. They they realized that they were gonna get become orphans for real. Yeah. And so they decided to go get their parents. They're like, oh no. But the thing is, it's funny, the parents almost died. Their plan almost worked. The parents were about to die when they went to get them. And then... Wait, what happened? Oh, and then you, and you think that the parents had changed, and they had a scene where like, Oh, really? Are we going to be a happy family? And then, of course, the parents didn't do it. They were like, oh, whatever. And then left them alone there. Left them to starve and die there in that place, of course. And... But before all that happened... There's a lot of funny parts, though. This is not spoiler tastic. And where the... I I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember much. I, I liked it, but I just can't remember all of it. You know, everything that happened. I have to watch it again. I'd like to watch it again. Maybe we should have just watched it. Ah, forgive me, I time it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot of funny parts, though. Remember, like, the boy kept getting hit by... Or the cars kept... What happened with that boy again? It was a running gag. He kept making cars running. Finish. By running in front of him. I mean, it did get a little tiresome after a while, but it's like, it was still kind of funny, though, if you had to admit. <laughs> well, he wasn't doing it on purpose. That was a thing. Oh, yeah, and they had that baby they named it. What did they name the baby? Ruth. Ruth. It, and they gave it to the guy that owned the candy, or the candy factory. Terry, yeah, Terry Cruz's character. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, then what happened, the parents, um, the parents actually ended up dying after they left them there, the kids there. They let me in and then left them there. And then I think it was supposedly they died. It looked like they died, but who knows for the sure. The Sharky they, boy. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Whatever. In the end, the nanny came and rescued them, of course, with the Terry Crews guy. And they good. of course, obviously she adopted them. And they had they were a happy family. Isn't that great? And the house was nice. The house they lived in with their bad parents though was it was a nice Nice house. It was really nice. That's what I liked about Look it. Look what too. I've done. I put ketchup packet in here. I think my favorite part. What was my favorite part? I know I had one. Now I kind of forgot. Oh man! I forgot my favorite part. Baby Yoda. Yes, Baby Yoda. Yeah. Yeah, Even though he Yoda wasn't too. in the movie, but yeah, Baby Yoda. Why not? Okay. <laughs> uh. Maybe Yoda hasn't been in a movie. It's not supposed to be. Oh, yeah, at the time we're talking about this, it is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is the 4th. Hey, yeah, I mean, it won't be the 4th by the time you see this video, but. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. you go, hell. I'll try to think of the favorite part. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll try and fix this mess of uh, explanation you're giving. What? <laughs> you were all over the place. Yeah. And you completely forgot about the baby. Oh, I said Ruth. Yeah, like later on, like after the parents, you said the parents died. Now, here's the thing. The kids... I was about the parents more. <laughs> Alright, sorry, go Yeah. On. Yeah, so... Yeah, so the baby, this baby kind of, like, kind of triggered a lot of events, which, thanks to the British cat. Um, oh, no, cat. Yeah. I forgot about yeah, the cat. Cat narrator. Yeah, the cat narrator kept interfering with the with the story, which is what really got everything going, but that's not important. The movie was, in general, I'll say it was really good. There are very few um, negative things I can actually say about it, honestly. It was a pretty well told story. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, I have a lot of burps. And you can tell that it's based on a book just because of how silly and crazy it is. Because usually, oh, yeah. stuff like that you only see in books. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, like, people usually don't do that for movie plot. Like, these parents 
their parents who have all the love for each other, like, oh, boopsie, poopsie, smoochy, woochy, but then none for their kids. That's wrong. How many toppings did you put on my burger? Uh, I just put on what they normally had. Kayla, I got a lot too. It's okay. Just eat. Just eat. This is it's going okay. to be a mess. Just eat on the thing like I do. Just be careful. I did put you eggs in Yeah, I did give you eggs. I... Ow. Why'd you give them so much? Egg. But why, though? Because they had it. Oh, goodness. Ah. Oh. Well, anyway, the, um, so the kids, which I wish I could remember the name of the, of, uh, I didn't remember anyone beyond Tim, because the twins had the same name, right? Janet and Barnaby's. Oh, the Barnaby's. Oh, I forgot their names. That's right. It was Janet, Janet was the girl who liked to sing all the time. She's, she's really, really cute. She's and then Barnaby 1 and Barnaby 2, which, because you know, the parents did No, Barnaby A show. and Barnaby B. Well, that's what they were called, yeah. The nanny gave them, called them Barnaby uh, A and Barnaby B, and they were... Hey, mommy, um, At first they were kind of creepy, but um, then they're actually uh, they were cute. Janet from Kim's with Venus. <laughs> Ow! Stay focused. So, you know. Um, then the, the baby come out, and the baby was crazy. Like, the... Mm. There was a scene where the baby disrupted the parents, and then... When Tim, remember Tim went to get it? Mm-hmm. And the baby just did that really creepy turn around with his head. He's just like... Ah. You remember that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Which, yeah, so the, the movie... <laughs> like from the Exorcist. And then, and, and, the, and, then, and then the big baby just, like, latches onto your face like a face hugger from the Aliens movies. It's just like, shida! And it's it's funny. The baby was funny. Everything, everything that was meant to be funny in the movie was funny. The animation was very good. Mm-hmm. Um, they were definitely going for, like, a, that, that faux stop-motion thing that other movies have done. Um, the Lego movies come to mind. Because, yeah, yeah. They, they, um, it was obviously the movie was CG, but the, the, all the textures were based on, like, material. So they were trying to make it look like it was stop motion, <laughs> which is oh, yeah, you know it's right. a it's a conscious uh, artistic choice that looks really good, honestly, especially with today's technology. Instead of like uh, making things look more realistic, you can imitate other things and just make it look more visually just appealing, and it'll get people's attention. Like it's it's like it's it's something for the eyes. It's very good. Um, so I enjoyed it visually. All the character designs were silly. And out there, and very colorful, and it was very good. Um, but yeah, and and the, but the whole point of the, the parents, like, yeah, the kids, the kids almost like you know, act their own parents, but they didn't. And that's the important thing because they're good kids. Oh, yeah. So of course we have to have an ending where like they they try to stop themselves, mm-hmm. and but when they try to appeal from their parents, their parents just diss them and take the dirigible that's made out of candy, by the way. There's an entire montage that's on your back here, where they where they where they where they make a dirigible out of out of candy, and it's hilarious. It's very good. It's and um and so the parents steal the dirigible, which turns out they don't know how to fly, and so they crash themselves. Mm-hmm. And so it's no longer the kids; it's out of their hands. The kids are innocent, and then they have that really dramatic moment where it looks like they're going to die in, mm-hmm. the, in the ice. Oh yeah, you're and that's right. That's when when uh, Janet gets to actually sing. Oh yeah, she sang. I forgot. Okay. And it's a wonderful scene. And I mean, obviously, it's she's such a cute singer. Yeah, right obviously, they're not going to die. I mean, it's, no, it's a family I didn't movie. think they would die. Yeah, but it was to... still a really well done scene. It was a really well yeah. done emotional scene. Mm-hmm. Um, with then Linda and then Linda. Candy. Oh yeah, Linda. That's her name. Yeah. And the uh, candy comes to the rescue. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there were so many just different choices in this movie that made it work, just because it was like mm-hmm. silly, like the orphan. What's it called? Like the orphan organization or whatever. Orphan organization. That's not what it was called. I don't know. It was like the Department of Orphan and stuff. And like, they were like a weird, like, men in black, mm-hmm. like, That's right. The organization, and they were not... Yeah, she was an orphan. Yeah, so there was like a whole backstory there, and then there was a whole fact that Tim didn't, didn't get along with Linda, because he suspected her all the time, and so it was just great dynamics, great character back and forth, great arcs, uh, the characters had to learn to get along, Linda went to rescue Tim first, because Tim kept running away. Tim! Um, but that's because, you know, Tim, you know, Tim's the oldest, so it's up to him, like, he's mm-hmm. basically the main character... So when you're the oldest, you're the one who takes care of your family. Mm-hmm. So a lot of that was him learning that, and he had to learn that, yeah, you know, I'm the oldest, I have to take care of my family. Who I care, unlike my parents, I can't be like my parents, i got to take care of my kids. Um, <laughs> my, 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 brother and my, my brothers and my sister. <laughs> so, you, only have one, you only have a sister. I'm talking for Tim. Tim. Oh. <sighs> Alright, so... So that was great because even Tim and Linda have that moment because you know 
Tim had Tim said all those mean things to her, and so like they had like their reconciliation, and then she steals that car, <laughs> and she's like trying to get through the fence, and there's just a security guard staring at her, and she's just screaming while hitting the gas, like ah, the car's not moving, oh she's just like ah. Remember the vault, the, the granny vault. vault? No. I mean not granny, um, granny nanny vault. vault. Remember the nanny she vault? vault? It was supposed to vault her, but Tim did it. Ended up Tim. Oh, right, the, the, the catapult, catapult, the nanapult. Nana, nana, nana they tried to get nana rid of That pulp. was, yeah. I just and they just hit Timmy instead, and it was, and then it was he funny. Went. <laughs> it was Tim. Yeah. So there's a lot, like, there's, there's just a lot of funny moments in the movie. It's very good. Um, yeah, like I said, I have, not, I have zero complaints. It might be one of the best movies Netflix has probably put out. <laughs> which, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, no, you did it! But I just, I'm Look, saying whatever. it. I'm going to say because... Um, the production, the production value for these, like, video-on-demand channels has gone way up, and Netflix is, like on the forefront of it with, like, a lot of stuff they've made. And, you know, because, like, we watch their, their TV show. We watch their, like, cartoon shows and stuff, and they're really mm-hmm. good. So, yeah. their movies are starting to get really good. Hey, um, that's pretty good. Well, basically, they got mad at the granny for... At the granny. He's saying granny. The saying nanny. Granny? Sorry. I don't know. Oh, no, they got mad at the nanny for a reason. I forgot what well, was I think, it. It was basically Tim. Barnaby, he the thought... Barnabys and Janet were fine, but Tim kept on suspecting her all the time. Like, he would not let up. But wasn't there something like a note that no. said... Oh, no, she was reading a text, and he, and he thought that she mis- he misinterpreted what she said, because she was like, oh, I'll take care of them. Hey, and I was like, how you oh, read it. I'll take care of them, you know. Because yeah. he was reading a text at the, na- the grant. Oh, my God, keep saying... The nanny... Nanny! He was saying it with an evil voice. The nanny was texting the parents, right? And then she yeah. was like, saying, oh, I'll take care of them. Because the parents wanted their kids killed. The horrible parents. Why? Yeah, so don't feel bad for them. Just, you know. It was funny because we thought they had died. And we're like, oh, they're still living? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not important that they die. No. It's just important that they're gone. Oh, yeah, yeah that was gone. the day we got Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to talk about now. <laughs> Ow. All right, so. Oh, we went to Target. <laughs> And so, and oh, probably the part you don't want to talk about, which I thought was hilarious, though, was at the end when everyone was finally together as a family. And you gotta remember, the real important thing about Willoughby's is their powerful mustaches. Oh, yeah. oh, God, and so the Barnabys and Janice are growing mustaches. Oh, uh, Lou, yeah, she, even she did. But Tim didn't. You know, Tim is the oldest, and he wanted the mustache the most. He doesn't get one, which is messed up. But he, then even Janet has, like, a little bit of a thing there. And then the Barnabys are just like, uh, yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah. They hit puberty. They hit puberty. Yeah, well, it was just a gag. But like I said, it's because it's a silly movie based on a silly book, but it's got a lot of heart in it, which is literally... Yeah. Everyone should, really should check it out. Go check it out, everyone. I think I literally... Unless you just don't like it, well, not everyone's gonna like it. Well, fine, because you just got spoilers right here anyway. But it's still good to actually watch it. I don't yeah, care if isn't, I... Isn't it good for just I don't care if I get spoiled. I still want to watch it. The movie. Well, then, they can still watch it and see how we think about it. If yeah. they care. If you guys, if you do. Well, it clicked on it, so I'll take care of it a little bit. Yeah, well, that's, how, that's how I see videos like this anyway. They're second opinions. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is second opinion. What does that mean? It means you get your own opinion first. Yeah, anyways. everybody has their own, own opinion, too. Right. You know? Anyway, so yeah. Yeah. Um, my, I guess my favorite part was when they all were a happy family. When Linda was singing. Oh, Linda. I mean, what's her name again? Janet? And they were singing? When she was singing, a cute little girl I like. What's her name? Janet. Janet. When she was singing, it was really cute. That's what Caleb said, unless he's wrong. It was, I like how it was so what? dramatic when they were about to die. Well, I knew they weren't going to, but it was still just so dramatic. That's a good moment. Yeah, he already like, said that. It's like, how are they going to, I don't know, I mean, I'm off the end but how are they going to get out of this, what I'm trying to say. Like, how are they going to get out of that situation? Like, oh my god, oh my god. I guess that was a good moment. And then when she was singing, and then... And then when yeah, Janet, I knew, I knew that lady was gonna come somewhere. The Ooh. nanny, I was like, "Where is she? Come on, you know, Linda, Linda, <laughs> like Linda, where are Linda, you?" Listen. <laughs> Linda, listen. Linda, Yeah. So I guess that's my my favorite part. Yeah. Where they almost died? <laughs> no, it's the dramatic moment. <gasps> like, how am I gonna get out of this? Right. And her singing was cute. So she has a cute little voice. Didn't you say it was like a really good singer who does her though? Yeah, Alessia Cara or something like that. Aless- oh. Alessia, Alessia Cara. Cara or something like that. You, you people might know. They might know. Yeah, you people. <laughs> Alessia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's good. I like her. I like yeah, her. it was a good cast of characters. I like, I like that. Um, I, you can kind of tell 
I knew I knew as soon as I heard that Martin Short was the dad. Because Martin Short has a very unique voice, though he talks, and it's very fun. He's he's funny in almost everything he does. Yeah, I'm he glad was, he's still around doing stuff. But he was annoying as a dad. Like, yeah, no, but still. But he's a good actor. Yeah. If you got kids, you might have already seen it because he also plays the cat in the hat in the PBS cartoon. Oh. Yeah. Here we yeah. go, 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 go on an adventure. The thingamajigga is off and away. What? Great. That's what he says. Thanks for your lovely uh, <laughs> rendition. To the thingamajigga! That's Martin Short. Alright. Is there right. anything else for you to say? Martin uh, Short. Like I said, uh, yeah, I said it's a great movie. Go watch it. Stop. Go watch it. It's at home. Stop. Stop. Turn on your TV. And We're gonna. Go, we'll we'll Netflix. Netflix. What if they don't have Netflix? Stop. They can pay well, then, for trial. Okay, then. why don't you buy Netflix? Stop. <laughs> go for a free Stop. trial then. Or a free Stop. trial. Stop. Um, so yeah, I say Stop. go ahead and watch Stop. it. Um, Stop. Yeah. Stop. Um, what's going to do? Everyone's stuck at home anyway. Yeah. At home every day. What else are you going to do? Ow. <laughs> Give it hands. a watch. Johnny can... Home. Wow. Oh, I'm full cool now. Yeah. Coward. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone, see you later. Alright, so like and subscribe. Let us know of any other movies you think you should. Oh, wait, can't comment. Jeez. Yeah, really. I mean, like and subscribe. <laughs> how can, you tell, how can right. you tell if I'm actually only what age I am? You guys know my age. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> well, if it's Grammys watching, she knows. Or Goodbye. Okay, okay. All right, see you and later, everyone. I'll see you next adventure. Went, no, what, it, what there, you already just told everybody. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. See you in the next adventure.